Okay, my friends. Um, I said last video I was going to come back with uh, some more um, interesting points and questions that were brought up to me from subscribers, and that's you, my friends. So, um, I'm going to start with uh, um, first off, a, sub a subscriber was telling me about um, his observation of the, um, you know, the, the dust accumulation. Um, you know, from from daybreak all the way until sunset, what you can see in a otherwise clear blue sky, but you can see a much grayer, powdery-looking tint to the um, you know the the outer atmosphere of our planet. Um, he's noticing it. Other people are noticing it. Um, you know, some people are thinking they're going crazy because they they think that the light is you know different. Uh, when they look up at the sun, it looks brighter, and that's because, you know, it is being intensified through these crystalline metalloid, um, high-frequency space metals and crystals in our um, atmosphere. Now, um, he he had uh, brought up a, a lot of good points, and I probably won't be able to address all of them in this video because I'm keeping them between five and ten minutes. But, you know. He brought up that that um, you know a lack of um, you know agencies being forthcoming with uh, you know the North American um, inhabitants. That's basically us here in America and Canada. Um, you know, there's just a, been a lot of um, I don't know. I mean, you've heard the old expression, you know, got the cat's tongue. And then, you know, people are playing shut mouth and no one knows what's going on. But, I mean, Russia, again, this is what's astonishing to me. Because Russia took the forefront to tell the whole world that there's going to be a crash of an asteroid in the Atlantic Ocean. Now, I haven't seen this as big headline news um, lately on the news. Um, I did see one part about the people that got really sick on the on the, the cruise ship. And there some mystery illness or whatever it was, um, and so they were in the Atlantic. I think it was. I can't. I can't be sure, but um, they had to get out of there. Um, you know, it's rumors that were. You know, there's some missing persons, some ships that went missing or whatever it is in the Atlantic Ocean, and so I don't think a lot of these people have their question answered because a, a huge asteroid blew up, um, crashed into the ocean. Um, contaminated and possibly polluted the terrestrial waters with God knows what because um, we don't know what they haven't told us and, and thanks to Russia you know uh, my thanks and many uh, to the scientists and the, the uh, leadership there that, uh, that has warned the world about the danger and not been afraid of the reaction because we'll deal with the reaction um, you know whatever the reaction is even if it's getting knocked down uh, people deserve to know the truth about this phenomenon uh, and I found it amazing as I studied it that uh, Russia had uh, put a lot of money into digging up uh, you know even even bits of uh, meteors out of lakes and ponds and trying to study them and find out what was going on it's amazing but what I see though is that you know we missed a lot of this stuff that we should have been able to see. Um, you know, we didn't get to see the the asteroid explode. We didn't get to see it, whether how it slashed or splashed into the water. Nothing. And uh, you know, they they do have film of this. Um, some it's rumored that that, that they have they have uh, recorded this. So we're still waiting um, on the edge of uh, you know. Our tiptoes, trying to figure out where we can find this footage at, and where it's gonna where it's gonna end up. Hopefully on YouTube. But um, again, um, he also talked about um, the um, the dust. He wanted to know um, basically uh, what you know you know. Would this increase more, or would it would it stay the same? It's kind of what a lot of people wonder, and others, someone else had asked me. Um, I, I will tell you that you can 
and, and I'm and I'm trying I'm not being a fear monger um, my goal with this I mean um, is is to share a mind form where people are braced for the worst and I'm prepared to spiritually face whatever it is even if it's death by you know a, a cataclysm um, and uh, and understand that that is just part of this destiny uh, for some of us um, and uh, you know, others of us will, will survive, um, depending. But I know I would like to tell you the truth about what I've seen in my visions, and, and also that I've been trying to disprove my visions, but a lot of them have been right on. So um, I will tell you um, as quickly as I can that you can look on some of NASA's space camps. Um, if, they, if they still got them turned on, I mean, uh, or go over to, uh, you know, uh, you know, some of the, um, you know, you can look at BP Earth Watch or just whatever um, uh, YouTube. Um, uh, I, I call them, uh, you know, you know, they're they are they're not they're not affiliated with uh, government. Um, they're, they're independent uh, research teams and people that uh, you know can give you uh, uh, you know a lot more uh, about what's going on with this phenomenon um, and so search for that um, search for it uh, look for it on the internet look for it on YouTube look for it on Twitter and um, and share with one another what you've learned because this is very important um, news to uh, you know, to to uh, you know, it's critical that that we are informed of it as the, as the public. So, um, basically, I will say for my visions and share this with you: um, the dust will continue to build. Um, the you know, the comets, meteors, whatever it is that keeps plunging into the sun, keeps getting exploded away from the sun in unknown trajectories uh, some of it tumbles through the sun to the back part of the sun and keeps on tumbling you see what I mean and so and so some of it is going you know maybe one inch per hour it's just drifting a lot of the stuff the, where an ice on broke apart and the sun's exploding um, you know sunstorm uh, solar wind you know like like a you know uh, with, with nuclear bomb uh, force has thrown objects as big as islands and asteroids and meteors and all sorts of meteorites, boloids, this, you know, big and little stuff. So sand, um, you know, has exploded all this stuff on unknown trajectories and it's in a fan that's huge, a fanned out wide, you know, um, you know, huge pattern that's going to be the entire orbit around the sun of Earth. And so we're going to be getting hit by stuff everywhere we go is what I'm going to tell you at some point we might get away with it for a little while but we'll eventually run into these objects uh, before then um, the dust will continue to accumulate in the upper atmosphere causing a um, energy surge via the uh, ultraviolet radiation rays from the sun that are intensified and magnified uh, with the small micron high frequency crystals and metals that are um, you know, building in the atmosphere they will then um, cause just what they're causing now just what I was telling you before increase in natural disaster because the bioelectric energy um, signature or the prana or you could call it the aura or the the, the bioelectric atmosphere that is, that is represented by the electromagnetic field that is our shield in our upper atmosphere that entire surface area there will build such charges that will move down into the lower atmosphere and then begin to strike at the ground with lightning like has never been before seen do you understand all right the vortexes will go be filled up start to hum start to spin start to you know vibrate and uh, lightning bolts will leave the ground in certain places as big around as the red sequoia woods and possibly bigger than that and leave sinkholes, huge sinkholes 
unbelievable uh, sinkholes where they've melted the the um, surrounding earth as they left the vortex. Uh, people's um, ears, nose, mouth they will bleed. Uh, some people will have seizures, go into heart attacks because it's an energy surge. And um, you know, look at some of my videos on my profile about some of that. Um, you know, some of it is you know I'm, I'm not sure again that whether the found footage video is real or not it, it deals with vortexes and, and stuff that happens around those things and the reason why the native people stayed away from them in the past but um, understand that this phenomenon is real and it will increase natural disasters okay I'm just make that clear right now um, you know and at the crescendo of it all there'll be a gigantic earthquake um, that that will happen because I, I don't make this point really clear to you now because I've meditated and I've seen this in a vision in my head I've had bad headaches over this I barely felt like I was gonna make it up my heart is fluttered on me I was hit with a shock wave of some type um, not more than an hour and something ago and I'm really sensitive to this stuff because of some of my damages that gave me what I believe to be a sensitivity a visionary gift sometimes you get that out of it so in, in a lot of ways I'm basically um, inadequate uh, and, and it could e even be considered uh, you know dis you know retarded and disabled in many ways but in another way I have an extreme gift of beholding some visions and seeing the you know, um, understanding of it and not knowing how I can do it I don't have cards I don't sit and um, you know write this stuff down I just tell you how it is and so this is this is it here it goes the bioelectric terrestrial signature of earth and its storage capacity and its maximum ability to store energy will reach what I call a critical threshold the reason is because higher frequency crystals that are usually only found in vortexes for instance here in North Carolina where I'm staying now I'm close to an azurite and people say the name different but azurite is a high frequency crystal it's only found here in North Carolina and they haven't found it anywhere else part of the vortex um, it's, it's also similar crystals are found only in the, the, the Negev Desert the Negev Desert over in uh, the Middle East in the quadrant that includes Israel, Yemen, and uh, parts of uh, you know Saudi Arabia uh, in a quadrant like a, a rectangular or cube-looking quadrant. So what I'm telling you is that because of these um, high-energy metals and crystals entering our atmosphere as dust and um, falling and landing on the ground and landing in the magnetic field of our upper atmosphere and concentrating at the north and the south pole specifically um, this will take the bioelectric energy signature to a to to a to a higher um, um, an, an unbearable threshold that the naturally occurring elements are not able to hold and what I mean by this is that the that the terrestrial elements and and um, materials stones gemstones metals all this stuff of earth cannot handle the amount of energy that is going to be brought in by these extraterrestrial contaminants um, so um, we've been cross-contaminated um, energy wise and material wise and so this will cause a energy surge that will cause the literally cause the the um, not just the vortexes but all the surface of the planet eventually as it builds to vibrate and it will sound just like I said in the other video like a loud door that being opened that's creaking and crrr, you know as the you know plates are moving and the vortexes hum and 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 um, and make a, um, a a really eerie sound and so that's what you're hearing up there Can Canadians and this is from me to you that's what you're hearing it's not ice quakes don't listen to that 
um, and, and anywhere else. I mean, this is being heard in new, you know, all over the place, in the United States, uh, near Vortex. And so that's what we're going to be looking at. And uh, when, it, when, it, when it supercharges them, it's nothing to joke with. I mean, even, even at, um, for years, the, the Earth has been, um, you know, is considering its bioelectric um, uh, signature in prehistoric times. Uh, it has been depleted, and so it's not not had much chi or prana, however it is you would like to look at it. it hasn't have it hasn't had the electromagnetic um, energy that it used to have, and so now it's returning. And uh, and 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 as this as the elements struggle to try to hold this power, they will let go of the power into the into the heavens. So you'll see ground lightning shooting up out of the ground as big as redwood sequoias, leaving gigantic sinkholes down into the belly of the mantle miles down okay in places and so this is what we'll see you know and and uh, the bolts that are raining down much bigger lightning bigger than ever before seen like i said the the size of big around as a sequoia lightning bolts okay so i mean <laughs> this is what i've seen in my vision okay and so it's going to be a definite increase in thunders thunderbolts shock waves from this mega energy and um, including meteors exploding in the sky. So that's all I have for now, um, my friends, and I'm glad to share it with you. As all, um, all God bless. Um, Zaza the way. Zaza is the word of God. Uh, and that's all. Um, thanks very much. I hope this has uh, helped you. And, uh, and then, you know, your, your comments are welcome on my channel. And I'll learn from you, and you'll learn from me. So uh, we'll talk later. Thanks.